Good morning, everybody. This is EB, the YouTube Poop Master here. And today, I want to do another SpongeBob SquarePants episode for you guys today. Yes, I want to do another episode for this because um, I love reviewing episodes from TV shows. And yeah, that's what I want to review. So, yes. So, if you guys didn't notice that in July, which was last month, I did a video on reviewing this episode called Salsa M. I have no idea what the what this word is. I can't I don't know how to pronounce it right. So yeah, I don't know how to pronounce this I word, but I know the very first name is called Salsa or something. And I'm not gonna try to pronounce that I word because I'm not gonna forget mention that because Nickelodeon they make I mean seriously this might be the only episode of the show where I don't know how to pronounce the name of the episode because Nickelodeon makes up all these crazy names. So it starts with the word salsa, and I forgot, and I don't know what the I word means. I mean, I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyways, so yeah, in this episode, I've seen um, the episode um, today <clears throat> with the audio turned down because I didn't, it was early in the morning. I didn't want to be bothered with the audio, so I kept the audio on mute, and I just saw the style of the animation. And boy, do I have to tell you, some positives about this episode and a little bit of negative. So let's start off with the plot. So in this episode, it, it, it immediately starts with Mr. Krabs taking Plankton out of the restaurant. I mean, obviously Plankton wants that formula so much. Why is Plankton so attracted to that formula? I mean, seriously, what is the story of SpongeBob? What is the story? Does he even have a story? I mean, come on now. I wish the I wish SpongeBob had a, had a story. There's not, there's not really a story in this show. It's just basically a sponge having all these crazy adventures with his friends. That's basically what the story plot of SpongeBob is. And no, I'm not talking about the Crowd Party Circuit formula. This, that's been a story ever since Plankton, the very first episode where he appeared in. But anyways, yeah, the episode starts out with Mr. Krabs taking Plankton out of the restaurant. But that's how you're trying to steal me formula again. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll accept you. Kicks him out of the restaurant. And then Sandy appears like five minutes, I mean, not five minutes, five seconds in the episode. This might be the, the next earliest time we ever see her. It looks like they're having a conversation. Sandy and Plankton are having like this weird conversation. Then out comes Patrick trying to skateboard. This dude can't even skateboard. All he did was, was dragging the skateboard across the dirt. Not even trying to skateboard. Then why did he even have a skateboard in the first place? Where did he even get a skateboard? Let's take, pause right here and ask the question. Where did Patrick get a skateboard from? Did he went to the bargain mart and bought one? Or did he just have one out in the rock out somewhere he wanted to learn how to skateboard? Well, yeah. So Plankton wanted to tease around with Patrick. So... Plankton goes to Patrick's house where he's sleeping and there's like a river of his saliva. There's like a water, there's like a river made from Patrick's own saliva, his spit. So Plankton was canoeing in it. Why was he canoeing in it? I mean, seriously, it's his saliva. Well, you know, the writers, they, they do, the writers and the animators, they do everything crazy and weird. So Plankton finds Patrick sleeping, goes into his mouth, right? He has this little ear cleaner thing and he tried, um, what was he? I think he tried... To like get Patrick's saliva or something like like he literally was going on a mission just to get Patrick's saliva. Really, the mission for Patrick's for real. So you're telling me Plankton all he wanted to do with Patrick is to get a little bit of sample of his saliva. Really? Mm. So yeah, the writers they're they're crazy. That's that's one of the negatives about this episode. That's one of the negatives. Now here comes another negative. So while Patrick was still sleeping and Plankton tried to get his saliva with the ear cleaner, Patrick's tongue began to like messing around inside of his mouth. So Patrick's tongue literally wrapped himself around Plankton, spun him, and then Plankton grew butt cheeks and Patrick's tongue licked Plankton's butt cheeks. Really? Seriously? This is where, uh, that's another negativity about this episode. Why are you promoting this, Nickelodeon? This is supposed to be a children's show. And if... You're going to appeal for the kids. Do not ever do that again because that was really inappropriate and that was totally unnecessary. So after going to this crazy adventures in Patrick's mouth getting his saliva, Plankton went to the tongue bucket and decided to make this e next evil plan. So it appears that Patrick's saliva isn't no ordinary saliva. The saliva actually makes everyone dumb. So instead, he used the saliva to put in some of this chum and that's what his next biggest plan is. That's Plankton's next biggest plan is to use Patrick's saliva into his chum to make everyone dumb. That's another negativity. Nickelodeon. Come on. Please, Nickelodeon. 
I know a lot of people are going to be saying, oh, if you hate Spongebob so much, why you watch it? Dude, yeah, I ain't going to worry about that. So, yeah. Plankton's um, chum ends up causing chaos and whatnot. So, the steam from the chum went through the smokestack and went into a cloud. The cloud got sucked, got absorbed the chumness, flew over the cities, and it started raining the chum with Patrick's saliva in it, turning everyone to dumb people. And that's when Sandy walks out of her house, realizing everybody's turning dumb. Got this one guy on a bicycle, driving around through the dirt. Why was everybody walking up into each other? That's, that's where, that's another negativity. Another negativity of the episode. Of them all walking up, huddling up each other. What's that supposed to represent? Got Squidward's house with a clown's wig, got a giant nose, a clown's nose or some garbage. And then Spongebob was at the Krusty Krab making crab patties out of dirt. I mean, he was flipping. He had a spatula in his hand. He was just sitting on the dirt, scooping up mud and putting it to his holes and squirting them out. Really? That's how dumb they are. So Sandy had enough with their dumbness. So she asks Karen, Plankton's wife, for help. So Sandy and Karen decides to come up with these weird ideas. So first they wanted to, to see if Plankton has the crazy dumbness. By literally shoving acorns into his mouth. Really, Sandy? Are you trying to kill him or are you trying to inspect him? Think about it. Hold up, you guys. I'll be right back. Yep. Sorry about that. That was my alarm clock. Yes, that it goes off at 5.30 a.m. So anyways, so after um, coming up with all these crazy ideas, so Sandy and Karen came up with the best idea yet by building a Bikini Bottom University. Really? So you're telling me? Sandy and Karen decided to team up together for, like, how long and decided to make a college. Wow. Just, wow. Let's just... But before we go any further with this episode, this isn't your ordinary college, you guys. This is not a college where you learn science and history and, and, and get a degree, a master, or a bachelor's and go around and get in the job of your choice. Instead, it's a university of how to do some of the simplest things in life. Like putting on your pants. Then that's not a college. What would they build a college out of that? Seriously, if you wanted to make the customers, I mean, or the all the other the townspeople not dumb anymore, you could have just went to y'all house and teach them that. Not build a college based off of it. Wow, that's another negativity about this episode. Why would they make a college where they learn how to do basic things in life? Like, mm. wow, Nickelodeon. This is Apparently, Nickelodeon should know what a college is. It's, a, it's, a, it's school where you go off and major what you want to major in. But if you want to go to college, you got to graduate high school first. Seriously, I bet even these characters never even went to high school. Oh, dumb self. So instead of, of a school bell, they had these keys. Sandy kept pulling on it. There were like keys that attracted the people to come to the university. Kyla, welcome to the Bikini Bottom University. Are you ready to graduate? Oh, my God. So, Mr. Krabs was in this episode. Plankton was in this episode. I think Plankton played the most, was made, made the major role. SpongeBob came in, like, towards the middle section of the episode. Um, Mrs. Puff only had a brief appearance, and Mrs. Puff only had one screen time. Then why was she in the episode? Mrs. Puff had no role in this episode, so I don't even know why the writers put her in the storyboard. So yeah, after the first semester of the Bikini Bottom University, Sandy said goodbye to her students. Goodbye, guys. I'll see you guys next time so we can do something simple. Come on now, a college where you're doing basic things. <clears throat> wow. Then comes graduation day. Yes, they graduated. They had, the, they had the cap and gowns and whatnot. Sandy was doing the ceremony. We seriously, why she's doing the ceremony? So we finally made it that that Sandy actually did went to college. If she went to college, why would she build a college just to basically do simple things in life? Seriously, a college where you have to learn how to pull on your pants and do basic things? You could have just teach them that at, at y'all house, not build a college base off of it. So Plankton's too school, is too cool for school, so he's still dumb and whatnot. He has like this leather jacket, like, like he was spelling school is dumb on the lockers. Yes, yeah, Spongebob literally came out of the lockers. Mr. Krabs was part of the universe. It was part of the of the students. He was one of the students at the university. So during graduation day, Mr. Krabs was like at this kitchen, like making food or whatnot. SpongeBob played a role in it. 
then Karen came out of nowhere, and that's when Karen told SpongeBob that the um the little scroll that he had wasn't was actually the Krabby Patty secret formula. So yeah, so SpongeBob took off his graduation clothes and started rushing to stop Plankton from stealing the Krabby Patty formula. Got Patrick in a janitor's outfit doing this. Ugh. Another negativity. So, what happens next? So at the very end of the episode, let's cut off to the ending. SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs stops Plankton's dead on his tracks. Sandy comes out with a clipboard writing like a diploma, I think. And then that's when Mr. Krabs grabs the diploma, put Plankton through the diploma, shot him out. Plankton landed on Karen. There's like the screen of these 1950s people laughing. It was like a laugh track or something. It was dusk. And then Karen just left with Plankton. Then the screen transitioned into a circle effect. Salsa, ember, whatever the I word is, whatever. I'm just going to call it salsa for now because I have no clue what that I word means. I don't know how to pronounce it. What do I give this episode? Before I get any further, the college idea was pretty good, Nickelodeon. I'm going to give you guys credit with the college idea. But how the college is set up, no bueno. No bueno. It was not good. Why would you make a college based off of basic things like putting on your pants, how to eat, how to tie your shoes. That's stuff that you should have learned from your parents, not from a... What university does that? Well, Nickelodeon probably don't know because Nickelodeon probably did went to college, but instead of an ordinary college where you learn science and math and make all and pay off your student loans and whatnot, they made a college based off of based off how to do simple things, like simple tasks. It's like, here's how to pull up your pants. First, put your pant first. Put your left leg and your left pant leg. Then you pull up your pants. There, you graduated. Oh my god. Overall, I might give this episode a... I'm going to give this episode a 3 out of 10. I'm going to be even on Nickelodeon for this episode because I gave him lots of hate lately. Nickelodeon, please step up your game. Do not make an episode where Sandy and Karen build a college based off of basic things in life. Seriously, I thought this college was going to have like... I thought this college was going to be like an ordinary college where you go in there, say hello to your professors, get get go go to the classes that you can go to and stuff like that. But no, in Bikini Bottom University, it's completely different. Wow. And seriously, the school building was, was the shape of a graduation's cap. See, that's another reason why this Nickelodeon is so stupid. Why can't you build a college like a normal college, like a giant campus? Why do you have to build a college off of a graduation's cap? Wow. Wow, Nickelodeon. Wow, your logic is 100% good. Nice logic, Nickelodeon. Really nice logic. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Later on this afternoon, I will upload my Casio keyboard side-by-side. -side. That'll be coming out this afternoon, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.